your buddy Scout Crafty here again. You know, every couple months uh, for a week, I'll put out a video every day for a week, and this is it. Uh, today is just one on files. Some I picked up at the show the other day. I hope you enjoy it. It's a real quick one. Thanks very much. Okay, uh, well, when I came back from the show, sometimes you get that dollar box I was talking about at the show, and a lot of times I'll buy, four, you know, it's a uh, dollar each or a six for five. So sometimes I'll have five items and I, I get that extra one free. So I'll just grab, a, I like files, you know, as you know, and some, I picked up these files. This was like the free one that you get. Uh, I like the square files. They're always good. And I just go through them if they're not damaged or anything, but you can see here, we have uh, quite a bit of rust embedded in here. That's actually no problem. Remember what this file looks like and the handle too. And what's nice about this handle, it's a screw on type. It's got the threads in here. And uh, you might be able to see that. So we'll fix up the handle. We'll throw these in the vinegar. And we'll be back in a couple days. Now, uh, this one here I did just to show you the worst case scenario. This is the absolute worst you can ever find a file. It looks like something you wouldn't, you know, you would just toss, right? So we're going to see how much of this we can get back. And if it comes back at all, sharp or whatever. So again couple days in the vinegar not the handle just those and I'll be back okay let's work on the handle now real quick for these files and you can see here this is just a uh, uh, an inexpensive handle but we're gonna clean it up nice and uh, first thing we're gonna do is get on the wood somebody uh, engraved this I guess to mark it as their file it's a nice little engraving I don't know what, what that is uh, what kind of marking that is but it uh, whoever did it took the time and did a nice job on it so we're gonna uh, clean this up and let's get to at the wood lathe and um, I made a little cone here just out of some scrap wood put it into the chuck and this way I can put the lathe handle onto uh, onto this little spindle and this way it will hold it as it spins and then I could sand it I can also put you know uh, the tailstock bring the tailstock up and uh, and touch it here so to give it a little extra support but we'll try and sand it down this way now this setup is just like I said, temporary so we can get it. it looks pretty true. We'll start it up. Yeah, that's good. Just enough to sand it and uh, we'll get that nice and uh, cleaned up. Okay, we're sanding down through the grits. This is very interesting. This is what's called a, um, a micro net uh, or a this one here is a, a braided net, and um, it's, a, it's a net, a mesh type sanding material. And you can see here the grits on here, it's 80, 120. I worked my way up the grits, 180. And um, what's nice about this is, is it clogs up. You just tap it like that with your finger and it unclogs because it is a, uh, a mesh. You can see through it. Very nice stuff, good stuff. Um, and then when you work through, you get down to here. I did the metal with a little bit of uh, the regular emery cloth, and uh, you see while it's on the lathe, might as well do it. So it's coming real nice. I'm going to show you how I finish it. Okay, now you know why uh, this is the fun part, working on a lathe. I love this. And now we have this sanded down nice and smooth, right? We still got that little marking there we're going to leave, but uh, nice and smooth. Now I'm going to take this Triple E Ultra Shine. This stuff is fantastic. And what it is, it's a, uh, it's almost like a, it has waxes in it and things like that. And it also has a bit of uh, abrasive in there. So you just take a little bit on, I use a piece of terry cloth. It don't take much, just a little bit on there. And uh, we're going to apply it to here. And then you're going to see what happens as it, uh, it buffs in. Okay, you see you know, less than 30 seconds with that triple E Ultra Shine, and you see how smooth that is. That's just like glass smooth on there. Now we just got to put a finish on there. You could use wax or anything. What I like to use is a little bit of, uh, it's a called friction shellac or friction polish, and that'll, it's like a shellac, and that'll put a nice coating on there, and then we'll be finished. Okay, you can see why they call that friction polish. As you put it on there, it glazes over. And look at that. It's uh, just a beautiful finish on there, huh? And uh, that's ready to go. Now we're going to work on the metal. Now that we have the handle nice, uh, for the metal, we're going to use this. I have this about 30 years. I bought this when I was a kid. Um, it's a, a metal polish. And what we're going to do is we're going to take just a little bit onto a, uh, a uh, just a swatch, a little piece of Scotch-Brite. And then we're going to hold it there and uh, polish it out. 
Okay, we're calling the project done on this one. You can see the file handle came out real nice, didn't it? Uh, you know, always does a nice job. And, and this is only, I just started this uh, 20 minutes ago. So it's dry. It's, uh, this is the way you want to work. You know, you don't want to have to wait overnight and whatnot. Um, there it's, you could see it's the threaded type. I like these type of file handles. And uh, so this one came out nice. Um, this here, some of these files are really nice ones here. This one here is called a clean cut file. I don't know if you ever heard of that. And they have a, uh, it looks to be like an alligator. And uh, you could see here, there uh, the markings on there. And um, the files all came out very sharp. And you could tell because when you grip it, they kind of grip your skin. So all the files came out nice. All I did was vinegar bath them for three days, scrub them with the uh, stainless steel brush to get out any residual rust. And, and then afterwards, I sprayed them down with some WD-40. You can use WD-40 or kerosene. You don't want to use oil because oil will uh, kind of make your files skip over... Um, whatever you're using it, but WD-40 is fine. Again, you could feel that the cutness, the uh, the grip of that. So I guess you're probably wondering about that last file, the one that was crazy bad. Well, here it is. Uh, this one was about the worst case scenario you can possibly get on a file. You could see the pitting is still in there. This there was some deep rust. And whenever you have a high carbon content, you're always gonna get that deep pitting. You could grind it out, but you don't have a lot of handle here. Now. Uh, believe it or not, the file is still sharp. There's still areas, but you could see here somebody filed either aluminum or, or something else on here. And when you do that, um, there's a couple ways to do it. I have a nice video on using a, uh, a piece of copper uh, tubing as a file cleaner. But if you get one of these dental picks, like I was telling, you could see that just you can make easy work by pushing just like that. You could push out all that, that metal that's in there that's clogged up. And this is normally uh, known as a file pick. And, uh, you know, it, it, it does really quick. I mean, it should only take you 10 minutes or so to get out all the uh, metal of the file. But um, you need to get either one of these dental tools or you could sharpen the nail down and just get in the grooves and work it back and forth. And you'll get all that metal out of there. I got to work on that. Anyway, that was a, just a real quick one on these files. Pick them up for practically nothing. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hope you have a nice day. Take care. Bye-bye.